This is a story of nine not so grumpy old men who had a great time cycling the Mekong. They never stopped laughing. And five of the nine will turn 70 this year. End of the first day's bike ride, done 50 k's, pulled in a nice little roadside bar. It had been hot riding, so we were looking forward to a cold drink. This is the main road south from Dedean to Cambodia. We're now heading out to Konglo Cave off the M13 east towards Vietnam. Room at Conglo Cave. Breakfast at resort and then walk to the cave for our boat trip seven kilometers through the limestone mountain. Out the other side in the short run up to a village before our return trip. Here we are, we're just leaving Konglo Cave area. There's a little village at the end of the road where Konglo Cave. Oh, we're going to do a 40k ride, get in the bus, drive 200. Savadi! How do you say the name of this town? Taket. Taket, yes. Beautiful food and beautiful beer. <laughs> say hello to Australia. Hello. Somebody. <laughs> we were very fortunate to have Joy Chittanong as our guide for the first five days. Some of us know him well from our two previous trips to Laos. We leave Taket an old French colonial town and ride right beside the Mekong River on a quiet road for 60 kilometres. The school. Hello, Zabradi. As usual, there's plenty to see and lots of Zabradi to the kids going to school. Saturday, leaving taxi along the Mekong. With our new guide, we head across the Mekong on one of the few major bridges and head south on the west bank of the Mekong with frequent stops for drinks at friendly cafes. Beautiful country, really, really good road. Here comes a couple of buffaloes. complex, we crossed back across the mighty Mekong on the old Rattler of a ferry. What an experience, quite exciting. A beautiful place from the bar at Kong Island. Those drivers. You know the Wallace Lake. Oh, fantastic ride today. Wallace Lake. Riding in the morning Foster. and uh, beautiful no, scenery. And you don't? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's That's just a good really good trip. Yeah, Lots of photographs along the way. Foster. Foster. Flat roads. Flat roads. <laughs> in the highlight of the day, uh, old Pereng drove the uh, ferry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're staying in very nice accommodation just across the road from the hotel's restaurant right on the river. Are you 
guys can get going now, we're here. Sabadi. Sabadi, darling. We were back to the gym. No, but it didn't get Come on. We arrive at Cone Island and a nice breezy accommodation near the Mekong. Just got off the boat from Cairn Island, but back on the mainland. Oh, I was in Maine, I'm jealous, isn't it like? Wah, pop, We're going on these boats down the stream. We arrive at Priya Rumkel, a quite and small village on the Mekong, across the river from Lao. After a meal in a covered area, we do a 30 kilometre return cycle in hot weather and then ride a further three kilometres to our homestay along a rough dirt road. Five of us in one house and four in another. We're back again after a year away and it hasn't changed. It's Campbell over there, except it's got hotter. And we met uh, Charlie Chen here, Charlie Chen. <laughs> oh, Jackie <laughs> Chen, Jackie <laughs> Chen. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's totally different players, isn't it? Look who you out there. Hello. So lucky to be out in a place like this, living with the locals for one night at least. Beautiful food. This homestay was such a delight and I will never forget the experience. The people were wonderful to us and sleeping on the hard floor on a two inch mattress was no problem at all. The food was great. So in Cambodia, just crossed the Mekong I love these markets. Hey, Little village to be right side of the Mekong. First stop, and right out to elephants, 16 k's. A little village along the way, pretty basic, very friendly. We had driven 60 kilometres in the bus towards Sen Monorong in order to get off the busy main road. After three hours in the bus back to Crady, we then rode 60 kilometres on a flat, relatively quiet road along the Mekong. Very hot weather as it was, very, was the middle of the day. Right here on the Mekong. Go, go!
pretty excitement to meet up with last year's guy Nat in Nong Peng. What a great trip. I can highly recommend it. Flat roads and hot dry weather with great guides and two beautiful countries to see.